Okay, I think we are live. We are live. Hello and welcome back. I, uh, I hope you guys can hear me okay because I don't have the microphone set up right now uh, because I want, to, uh, I want you to hear uh, our friend Sal's voice as well. So hopefully you guys can hear us. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's going to be, we are going to compare a couple of different brewing methods. Okay, and then we're going to start with the basic is, uh, 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 hand me that for a second. So Sal brought his uh, GP6. So this is an easy press uh, hand grinder. And then we are going to against my uh, MC5, okay, Caffetec MC5. So this is about just under $200 uh, hand grinder. It is premium, pretty pricey, but compared to my MC5, this is really, really affordable, okay? Uh, by the way, you can't even buy uh, GP6s anymore. So uh, if, you can get, if you can get one for use one somewhere, that's great. If not, you know what? Uh, start emailing Easy Presso. Maybe bug them. Okay, hopefully they can start re uh, reproducing uh, this hand grinder for you guys. But anyway, so we're gonna use. Sal is gonna use a GP6. I'm gonna be using my MC5, and then Sal is going to brew uh, the Lance. Uh, Lance is a V60 recipe. Uh, can you tell us about the, the recipe, Sal? Yeah. So this is. Uh... It's his YouTube video he made, like the one-two-one recipe. Um, so he starts off with just, you know, however much coffee you want, and then I'll do a one to three bloom, and he'll let that sit, he'll let the bl that bloom for two minutes, and then he'll do uh, one pour super fast at the beginning, and then once you get about halfway full of the V60, he'll slow down the pour, and he'll start uh, swirling pretty vigorously to try to uh, trap all the fines floating in the slurry. We'll try to trap them on the on the filter so they're not in in the brewing. Okay, why don't you start going and brew? Okay, I'm gonna have a Sar start brewing his V60 recipe there. And for my brewing method, I'm gonna be using my MC5 with uh, Orea V3. Okay, so I'm using the kind of no bypass method with this paper with a uh, new gauchator. Okay, gauchator for I'm using that. And so this should be, I like this brewing method because Oria is really fast, uh, a, a brewer. So I can go even finer on grinder setting. And so I can go really push the extraction as well. So we are using the same coffee. Oh, let's talk about coffee first, okay? This coffee from uh, Manhattan, okay? Uh, Pepe Gijon. Gijon. Pepe Gijon, okay? Uh, this, this coffee is fantastic, by the way. Uh, let's see here. What's the tasting on this one? Tasting notes is tasting notes are. You know the tasting yeah. notes? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Tasting notes are fantastic, guys. Clementine, cotton candy, and we have a uh, strawberry. Again, clementine, cotton candy, and strawberry. Sounds amazing. All right. Sounds amazing there. So it should be. Uh, I'm, I'm using the uh, 15 gram as well. I'm gonna start with uh, 50 grams of blooming. I'm gonna go hit it hard, okay, for another one, go up to 150, okay? And then I'm gonna wait about maybe 30 seconds, so, 30 seconds or so, and then I'm gonna hit it with another 100 grams. So 15 gram in and 250 gram. The, I'm gonna add the water. So, th so that's my recipe. Again, uh, Sal is using the uh, Lance's V60 recipe, so so it should be it should be interesting coffee. You want me to start that? One? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and brew it? And when it comes to water. Uh, we are using the uh, third wave water here, and the water temperature at 93 Celsius. Okay, but meantime, I'm gonna start grind my coffee. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit of early tea, or just a little bit, okay, not too much. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, we are we are having some fun here this morning. Uh, it should be really good. I cannot wait to try this cup. Right. 
So we got, in a way, we are kind of comparing like a V60 versus Aurea. And the same time, we are comparing a GP6 versus a MC5 as well. So it should be a fun comparison. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys how SAR is doing. So how long are you gonna wait for that? Two minutes for that. Oh, you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait two minutes. Okay. So two minutes over yeah. time. Supposedly, it brings out all of the. It breaks into the particles and brings out the soluble material to the surface so that the water can just uh, wash it into the cup. Okay. I mean that is a long time, folks. Two minutes is quite a while. Yeah, I know there was a blog post by Jonathan Gagne uh, looking into that, I think. So, you know, my recipe is going to be a lot simpler than sales. Okay. My recipe is going to just start with the 50 gram of water. Yeah. How many minutes there? I'm at, I got 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. I think I'm gonna have Sar finish his cup and then I'm gonna work on my water. Okay, so again, if you are just joining us, uh, we are comparing uh, two brewing method in a way, and also two different grinders. We got Easy Presso versus MC5. Okay, and Sal is using uh, Lance's recipe. I am using a recipe from. Actually, I uh, I learned this one from Ilika Lefty. Okay, from Onyx Coffee. Now, how long are you gonna wait for that? Just till I draw down. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Ah, so that's your recipe. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start doing mine. Start with the 50 gram. Just give it a quick stir here. I know okay, I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds. Uh -huh. I know Lance likes to do. So Sal is using the the Lance Hedrix, uh recipe there of a V60. I'm just gonna go up to 150, just the middle pole, pretty hard. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna wait till about minute mark there. I'm gonna wait about a minute. And at this point, I'm just gonna go all the way up to 250, very gentle, center, and side. Go up to 250. How many grams are you going? Uh, mine was like 258 or something. Just gonna go all the way up to 250. Very simple recipe. Mine's about done it. Yep, within a minute and 30 seconds. Yours is done? Yeah, about 350. 350, but you gotta wait about two minutes there, right? Yeah, I think I think Lance recommended uh, under two, under four minutes okay. for this one. All right, folks, we're just gonna wait and see here. Uh, comes to my, uh, my brew time should be around four minutes. Okay, it's gonna be different extraction time, but. All right, so let's start with yours, so. Let's try it with your coffee. While we are gonna wait my coffee here, we are going to try the
okay? Right now, I'm at about two minutes and 40 seconds right now. So this is a V60 with a GP6, okay? Man, they're very fruity though, okay? Very light, very tea-like. What do you think? Do you like it? I do. You, do you like it? Okay. Very mild. Then again, I am a big washed coffee fan. Okay, so... But uh, to me, it has like a, a sugary sweetness to it. Yeah, yes, yeah, so to the end, definitely. It's nicely balanced. Okay, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm yeah. to try that Oreo. Okay, I'm at about 30 minutes and 30 seconds. So we are right on time here. Okay, right on time. So, uh, what's the roasting on this one? Is that washed coffee? Yeah, washed. Okay. It's pretty, pretty light, yeah. Okay, so by the way, I mean, you can tell from, uh, whenever I drink washed coffee, I can use it to tell. All right. Uh, very light, very, very tea-like. Not a whole lot of excitement, okay. And uh, I'm going to brew some coffee for... Uh, sad right after this. I got some really incredible coffee. Uh, coffee from uh, friends at Good Brothers Coffee as well as uh, Hydrangea, okay, if you people are watching. And uh, by the way, so Good Brothers Coffee has our usual coupon code, okay, coupon code for 25% off. And also Hydrangea, uh, they are the uh, coffee roaster that pushing the boundary. I mean, Bill, he does a crazy fermentation as well. That he, he does amazing work. And I do have a coupon code for 10%, okay? Not 25, but 10%, that's still good. All right. So this coffee is done. So this coffee, I just brew, it's gonna be MC5 with Aurea V3, okay? Kind of like, uh, I, I, I don't wanna say, you know, limited bypass, let's put it that way. Is your cup empty? Okay. So this is the MC5 with Aurea. Cheers, guys. Mmm. What do you think? I feel like it has a more texture to it. I guess some more flip. Huh? What's your thoughts on this one with the MC5? Yeah, definitely like thicker body. Mitchell. Doesn't bring out the acidity as much as no, I think. No, no, no. I mean, it could be the That's brewing method. too. Yeah, it could be the brewing method as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I, even though it's third way water, I feel like even with that water, for some reason, is a little more vibrant. Even with the cafe, you know, it's yeah. Really low. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I mean, uh, this great thing about the wash coffee. <coughs> you know what? Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome to my live streaming here. Uh, we are playing with coffee. So we just did a wash coffee. I'm not okay. So wash coffee. If you guys like tea, like coffee, the wash coffee is where to go. All right, wash coffee is way to go. But if you want something more exciting, something different, uh, obviously uh, look for like anaerobic process, some kind of fermentation process, natural process. Uh, you're gonna really enjoy that for sure. So, so now we finished the uh, wash coffee. Uh, let's move on to. You know what? I think I'm gonna change my brewing method. Okay, I'm gonna change this time. Uh, so you, you like the V60 still? I can go go with anything. You wanna go with that? You know what? Why don't you stick with the V60? And then I'm gonna switch to, uh, you know, uh, let me switch to uh, origami. Okay, for me, I'm gonna switch to origami. Sars is gonna stay with uh, V60. And this time, uh, let's try. So this is a brand new coffee from uh, Hydrangea. This is coffee I told you about. It's called uh, Letty Bermudez. So this is the Diego Bermudez coffee. Okay, so this is a double fermentation, again, double fermentation with a the thermal shot. Okay, again, here it is. 
Double fermentation with the thermal shock. I have no idea what that means, but they're highly processed, okay? It's gonna be incredible. Uh, here are the, uh, here's a tasting note. White peach, jasmine, milk tea, and dry rose, all right? I think, sir, you are in for a treat, okay? So this is the brand new bag. Uh, let's uh, uh, brew some coffee here. So I think I'm gonna stick with uh, a v, uh, Kappa Tech MC5 still. And the size is gonna use uh, his GP6 at the moment. And uh, if you guys want to maybe, we, we might try different uh, coffee grinder later, but yeah, so far, I think this is kind of like good comparison. Okay, hand grinder is uh, hand grinder versus smelter. Okay. It's very, it's very strange, but you get the milk tea. Oh wow! You so, smell the milk tea somehow. Yeah. So I mean, hydrangea, coffee. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, I cannot it's wait. It's a to little try. different smell than most yeah. the other all the coffees I've ever smelled. You are in for treat, okay? You are in for treat. And also we got some, this interesting coffee from uh, Brent at uh, Good Brothers Coffee as well. Okay, Brent uh, just come up with uh, his website, the Columbia one, dragon fruit, red fruit and papaya, okay? They're fantastic as well. And also he has uh, Indonesia Java. This one has a bubble gum, grape and lemon, okay? Okay. Uh, if you guys are into interesting coffee, okay? If you are tired of watch coffee, all right? I'm gonna put the coupon code for you guys. So you should be, you know, at least try once, okay? Just at least try once. Yeah. Because it's gonna be different, all right? But I don't think I can drink this kind of coffee. Go ahead. I don't think I can drink this kind of coffee every single day, but in like a couple times a week, it'd be a really nice treat, okay? Because you don't want to eat, you know, you don't want to eat the good stuff every single day. It's become, you know, kind of like become norm. So you don't want it, okay? Yeah. Man, this smells amazing, guys. This smells absolutely amazing there. Uh, if you're just joining us right now, we are uh, making some coffee with Sal uh, this morning. Okay. And then after we uh, finish this, and then let's talk about the uh, results, okay? Let's talk about uh, what's the difference between MC5, the 71 millimeter conical versus uh, uh, the GP6. What, what size of that? 48 millimeter? I think so. Okay, so 40, 48 millimeter conical, the hand grinder. So. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. And uh, shall we use what? Which water this time? Still the third wave, you think? You like the third wave or yeah, shop yeah. water? Okay. Either one. Okay, so. So, let's see here. So I think I'm gonna use the, hold on. So I'm gonna have a cell use the third wave water, and I'm gonna be using just a plain filter water. Okay. Yeah. And see, is it gonna be any uh, different? I uh, will. Uh, by the way, so V. So Sal's gonna use a V60. I'm gonna be using the Origami. Very similar brewer. Okay. Very similar brewer there. Okay, so we're gonna go. Right. 
Okay, here we go, guys. So, sir, what what is your favorite coffee so far this year? Um, so far this year, I would say, for me personally, the one we just brewed okay is up there. It's so hard these for me to choose between this one and uh, Scott Rayo's. Uh, he hasn't done anything new for a little bit, but Scott Rayo's roasting company, uh, Prodigal, he had a uh, washed or a double fermented washed geisha from Colombia. That was also very, very okay. good. So this coffee is again from Manhattan. Uh, Pepe Hijo. Okay, Pepe Hijo. And then uh, Sarah is going to be using the uh, Lance's V60 recipe. I'm just going to use my just basic origami recipe right here. Okay. Not special. Nothing special here. Nothing to look at. Okay. Why don't you go ahead? Almost there. So we are uh, brewing. Uh, let uh, let the Letty Bermudez, okay. I believe so. This is the Diego Bermudez coffee, I believe. At, at, is that geisha, right? This one? Yeah. I think, yeah. I think that, yeah, so, geisha, yeah. yeah, so this is a geisha, folks. Okay, so this is geisha. Double anaerobic with a thermal shock. Geisha. Goodness. Wow, I get pretty much all the milk, uh, all the mm -hmm. tasting notes pretty much. So again, I'm using the MC5 with this. I'm gonna shout out to Jackie. So Jackie also has the MC5 at his house. I can smell this coffee, by the way. Yeah, I do get the dried rose, the peach. Yep. They are just fantastic. They're just fantastic coffee here. Yeah, I think they're spot on with the tasting notes. Yeah. It's, it might sound weird, but I do get the milk tea. Okay, so let's brew, the, brew that here. Okay, okay I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be using my just simple origami recipe. Very easy. Stick too. Yep. I'm gonna start with the 50 gram. And what's this one called? Is this yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just a stick. Okay. I'm just gonna wait. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna go all the way up to 150. But this time I'm gonna go just uh, right on the middle. I'm just gonna go middle pretty hard. Okay. I did not watch the paper, right? Which one? Ah, uh, man, yeah. I think you did. I don't think I did. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I think, I think I might made a mistake, but it's all right. I think in like studies and stuff, when they were doing it blindly, they weren't able to tell between mm -hmm. washing the paper and not washing it. I'm gonna go all the way up to like two, like 250 or 240. By the way, so, so a lot going on on uh, this uh, test right now, okay? So not only we are using the different hand grind, uh, it's got the MC, uh, MC5 versus GP6, but, and also we are tasting the test of different water as well. Uh, Sarge using the uh, third wave water versus, so this is just regular filter water, okay? And the Sarge brought his uh, filter water from his cafe. Uh, if you don't know Sarah, Sarah is a professional barista in Tucson. 
how long you been working at uh, Barista? Uh, it's been, it was a year in February, okay, so a yeah. year and a couple months. Yeah, he's now. a brand new barista, but hey. Uh, for my brew time is about two minutes and like 15 seconds or so. I mean, that's what I want, okay? I want fast brew, so. I mean, Origami is known for that. That's it. Okay, so mine's done. Man. Goodness. Yeah, wow. That's very strong aroma. Very strong aroma there. There we go. Cheers, everyone. Okay, so this is a coffee from Hydrangea, and this is a, it's called Letti Bermudez. Uh, this is a double fermentation, thermo shock, geisha, uh, using a Capotec MC5 coffee grinder. Whoa, goodness! Oh man, sorry, you gotta yeah, you sorry, you gotta try this. Yeah, this coffee is uh, incredible. Okay, this coffee is. This aftertaste, this lingering mouthfeel, this wonderful fragrance. Yeah. yeah on the, for the fragrance, this is like probably one of the smallest, or the, I get the strongest floral oh, smell yeah. from this coffee. Yeah. Like definitely the jasmine and the rose. Oh, yeah. Normally the floral smells are super, super subtle. Yep. But this one's like right. Just right in your face. Yeah. Have you tried it yet? Not yet? Man, good one. this is a good one. Man, that's a rose. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is For good. For people who don't like super, super fermented coffee, it doesn't really have that. No, it's, it's not whiny. No, it's, it's, not, it's whiny. not over fermented. No, it's not over fermented, but again, uh, I, I do have 10% Kyopanko for the hydrangea, okay? So if you haven't tried it, make sure to try that as well. Uh, just uh, Kupanko is pretty simple, just my name, Hun, that's it. Uh, man. Wow. Okay, I cannot wait for the GP6. Yeah, even this one's pretty clean for so, the process. Oh yeah, so this is, again, uh, MC5 with the regular, just regular filter water, uh, bring out this much fragrance. Yeah, so, it's so really good. Yeah, Sar is using the uh, Lance's uh, V60 recipe with uh, GP6 oh, yeah. and third wave water because the water makes big difference in your coffee, by the way. All right, we're done. Yeah. All right. So that's the mine right here. So this is the South GP6. Okay, that's, fragrance is uh, fantastic. Okay, here we go. Cheers, everyone. Okay, let's do the smell test. Man. On the smell, I get everything. Yeah. For, yeah, for me, the tasty notes are right on the spot. Okay. Here we go. Cheers, everyone. Everyone. Cleaner. It's much cleaner than uh, my MC5. For oh, this coffee, I like the MC5 better. Me too. Yeah, I, I think I think we both agree that with the MC5 with the this fermentation, uh, I, I feel like MC5 bring out more uh, wonderful tasting note there. Hold yeah. On. You have different cup over there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's dump that. You wanna drink it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So this is one for MC5 here. I'm gonna go back to MC5 for a second. Oh yeah. Yeah, normally, yeah, I don't know. With these, with these coffees, I know their goal was like, when the, with the grape coffee, if you taste it, even if you're not used to coffee, you'll taste the grape. And this one, even though it's not like fermented with anything, 
I don't know, like even the, for me, the jasmine milk tea is really strong, which is, sounds weird. And it is kind of weird, but it's, it's really good. Uh, I'm telling you, so, so this coffee is really interesting, fantastic okay, at this point. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, for coffee wise, for, for this particular coffee, I like the large conical, like MC5 is 71 millimeter conical burst there. Uh, it's more interesting, uh, comes to tasting note wise. Yeah, oh, that's good. Let's see here, let's see. It's, again, uh, okay, a lot of fermentation process coffees taste like some uh, kind of like wine, okay? From it, uh, fermentation feels to it, but with, so far, uh, this coffee I've been trying, highly processed, uh, very clean, okay, very clean. Again, the Hydrangea Coffee, the beer is, he's brand new coffee roaster out of uh, Bay Area, uh, California, you know, San Francisco area. So he's new at this, but uh, I'm pretty impressed with him so far, okay? I'm pretty impressed with him so far. So next coffee, uh, let's try with uh, my friends at uh, Good Brothers here, Columbia Finca La Flores, okay? So this one, I'm gonna use the same brewing method. And uh, let's see here. Dragon fruit, red fruit, and papaya. All right, I think it sh should be very interesting. Uh, and we're gonna do the exact same recipes as well. Let me smell that. It smells like <clears throat> bubblegum pineapple. Oh man, it smells great. So again, so this is, uh, This is a natural, dry bourbon natural, okay? Dry, a uh, red bourbon natural product. Is that processed bourbon? That's the uh, beans, right? Yeah. The so bourbon I is beans. So this is the, the natural coffee, uh, naturally processed, all right? Man. So let's try this one as well. Okay, if you're just joining us for the first time, you know, let's pretend, you know what? Okay, be, uh, before we, uh, we're gonna make coffee, uh, so let's talk, I mean, if you guys are curious about which grinder you should get, okay? I know we got some, uh, you got some few people watching right now, okay? If you guys are looking into uh, buying a coffee grinder right now as we speak, should I go with the conical or should I go with the flat? And then should I go with something large burrs or smaller burrs, medium sized burrs? If you are struggling with it, I fear for you, okay? You are in the... So th this is great thing about having a lot of choice, okay? But same time, you're having a lot of choice, okay? So first of all, you need to think about, think about your budget, okay? What is your budget, all right? If your budget is, let's say, a couple hundred bucks, if, if, you, if your budget is only a couple hundred dollars, if you're only into filter coffee, like what we are making right now, I highly recommend uh, invest money on nice uh, hand grinder. Okay. So nice hand grinder is the best uh, bang for the buck, okay? But uh, if you are into espresso, okay, so now we can have some more in-depth conversation as well. But if your budget is only a couple hundred dollars, if you're into filter, uh, uh, look at a uh, nice hand grinder. So can go wrong with like Easy Press makes great hand grinder, Timer Max Prego one. So even, uh, let's see, who else makes pretty good grinder? Hey, Timer, Easy Presso. I, I, we are talking about. <coughs> Kinu, those are expensive. The Kinu well. is like north of 300, so that's not a good, yeah. that's yeah, not that's... a good example there. So, so we are talking about under 200, okay? We are talking about under 200, so. Yeah, it's gotta be like, yeah, Timer and, Easy Presso really. Time easy easy. Presso makes great. And then, so I mean, there are well known, obviously, and also you can get from Amazon. So you always, all right, you can always return it if you don't like it. So, I mean, that's another thing I like getting from Amazon. All right, and go ahead and so, and I'm, I'm gonna go over more grinder. How to, I think I'm gonna, I think we should talk about how to buy a hand grinders or a grinder period because 
I mean, Jesse is right because, you know, a choice is curse. Okay, in a way. We have too many choices right now. It comes to grind the wise. And you know, if you have a limited budget, because you want to do it right at first time. Okay, because you want to do it right at first time. So that, that's another reason. You know, get it from that, you know, the vendor that you can return it. Okay, like Amazon or if you buy from bigger outfit, you know, bigger wholesaler or bigger uh, distributor. Hey, you know, I tried for a couple weeks, don't like it. Let's try something else. All right. So uh, MGS asks, uh, when can you tell the difference between a flat and conical? Yes. All right. Flat versus conical, you are going to tell a huge difference in flavor. Because I feel like uh, definitely flat give you the lot more clarity. And then with the conical, give you a little bit more fines, more give you more body to it. But with the GP6, uh, uh, give you a lot uh, less fine because give you a lot more clarity. So it's all, all different, okay? Darak said, King Grinder is similar to GP6. Uh, that's true. King Grinder is only about, what, 60 or 70 bucks. So GP6, you're looking at, what, 200. So a uh, big price difference there. All right. So, so this is uh, another one more uh, brew session with Sal. So here we go. Uh, by the way, if you are in Tucson area, hit me up, okay? Because I'd love to have you guys on my uh, coffee desk so we can make some coffee together, all right? It'll be a lot of fun here. Because, I mean, I feel like Sal is the only person actually come and hang out with me, but you know. It's not, not a lot of people in uh, Tucson. Again, the Tucson is not known for uh, coffee. Yes. Okay, coffee capital, let's put it that way. <laughs> so, uh, Sar is using the GP6, and uh, I'm using, again, you know what? Uh, yeah, I think I'm, uh, let's see here. Maybe I, you know, uh, I'm gonna have Sar use the GP6. So let me use the uh, e, uh, EK43. That's 98 millimeter flat burr, okay? Yeah, let's do that. So this time we're gonna compare GP6 versus EK. Okay. Looks like someone's talking about the Pietro. Uh, Pietro. Pietro. Yeah. yeah. The Pietro is a 58 millimeter flat burr. Yeah, it's definitely pricier. I probably won't buy it because it's pricey. But yeah, it looks like Lance even looked at like the particle analysis and he tried to he he made it so it beat the easy presso zp6 that's what he said so he said it's even more uniform than zp6 even on the laser analysis or whatever it is you mean, yeah i think that uh, pietro is Someone's asking how much. I think it's like... Okay, Petro, last time I... Yeah, it's like, like four or 450. Yeah, uh, John is correct. Okay, so let's see here. So again, we are using the third wave water over here. And I'm gonna be using the just a plain filter water. Here's the, I'm gonna have a little twist, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of calcium. So I feel like the calcium bring out that sweetness. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of calcium. That's it, not much. And the, the buffer, the buffer is also known as the like baking powder, uh, baking soda, okay? I'm just gonna add Kind of like calm it down. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit. Not too much. Okay, I'm just winging it right now, all right? Uh, if you wanna do that precise, you wanna be measured out exactly, but uh, for this case, I'm just gonna wing it. Uh, hope for the best. 
Yeah, the, Brent's asking about the grounds. Yeah, to me it smells like, I definitely, you know, I'm biased because I saw your uh, strawberry big league chew, but I definitely get that, like a, definitely like a, like a strawberry candy of some sorts. I got a similar thing from the Manhattan, but this one's a little more pronounced. And maybe like a slight like tropical smell too, like a pineapple or something like that. But mainly like the strawberry. Okay, so this is the EK-43. If you are just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay, here we go. Okay, for again, I'm, I'm using just simple recipe here. I'm just gonna go second pour, just go hard in the middle, go up to 150. And then I'm gonna wait about a minute, up to one minute, and then I'm gonna do another 100 grams of water. This I'm just going to uh, clean up the side. With a nice circle pole. Very gentle. Go out to 250. Man, this smells amazing right now. And then finish, I'm just gonna give it a little swirl, that's all. Yeah, ever since you said, uh, he said, uh, strawberry big league chew, I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's like a baseball yeah. gum. Ever since he said that, I can't. That's the only thing I smell now. Okay, so, I mean, this is so hard to talk about, you know, what kind of grinder I should recommend you to you guys? You know, should I go with a nice hand grinder versus like, you know, entry level electric grinder? Because it's all depend on you. It all depend on you and your budget. And man, uh, I mean, especially now, you have so, uh, so many choices nowadays. I really feel for you. Okay, I really feel for you as well because uh, yeah, I think we need to revisit that. Okay, so it's yeah. about two minutes and 30 seconds for my brew time. Okay. So, uh, personally, I like the fast brew. Okay. Like anything under three minutes. I know some people like like three minutes and 30 seconds. For me, it's about, for, for me, about just under like two and two, two and a half minutes brew time. And usually I go with origami or Oreo, special Oreo. Okay, I do enjoy Oreo as well. So, I mean, they are, yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Okay. So this is a uh, coffee from uh, Good. Uh, by the way, if you have any question about this coffee, ask Brent. He's at the, our live chat right now. Okay, he's at the live chat, and then uh, so Brent's been uh, coming up with a very interesting uh, coffee lately. So uh, make sure uh, check out. Uh, I got a discount code for them, okay? It's about 25 for 25% off, so, so that's a pretty good deal. 
Let me see if I can. So this is the Columbia, uh, and, but, uh, Brent, is that double fermentation or anaerobic process? Let me know. I think this is anaerobic or something. Uh, natural. Man. Wow. What do you taste? I see a lot of fruits. I get like a... Pineapple, Pine mango. Yeah, mango, pineapple. Yeah, this this natural process. Wow, you gotta wait till once coffee's cool down. You're gonna you're gonna taste even something different, something special. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Talk about the, this one, the lefty Ramudas. Yeah. As it's cooled down. Cooled down. So it's been cooled down for the, this is the lefty Bermudas. It's definitely, what, what do you taste? Um, for that one, for the hydrangea. Yeah. I definitely get, wow. for me, it's, this is probably one of the strongest coffees I can remember in uh -huh. terms of the florals. Mm. Like, I really do get jasmine and yep. rose in this. And normally those are, yeah, super, super subtle. subtle. But these are like, yeah, in your face, which I really like. It's very mm. interesting. This is my favorite hydrangea so far. Yeah. Man, this coffee from Good Brothers, the brand. A lot of the red fruits, tropical fruits. Okay, if you're looking for something different, yeah, this is a lot of fun here. Okay, uh, it's a Rappo. Say, Rappo was thinking about buying the uh, let, uh, Letty. Yeah, uh, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it'll let you down. So this one is not gonna let you down. Yeah, make sure you try it out. Yeah, don't forget to use that coupon code, okay? Even though it's only 10%, but uh, it's that, yeah, make sure you use it. So this coffee from uh, Brent, and I got 25% off. So yeah, Kun25, that's the code. Hmm. Good. So this one is from GP6 and Thoroughway Water. So this is the Columbia from Brett. Yeah. Yeah, red. Yeah, red fruit. Look like Troy's already tried that one as well. There you go, buddy. Cheers. So this is the V60 and GP6. Here we go, cheers. Okay, more, more subtle. Okay, more, more subtle. More cleaner, more subtle. Man, and that, that, they're both good, all right? So the large conical, like MC5, they bring out the even more, the red fruits and kind of like strawberry after taste. Uh, so this is a natural process, and then with the GP6, even though they're conical, but bring out that you know, bring even more cleaner. Okay. Yeah. So which one you prefer? You, you want the MC5 or GP6? Mm, let's see. Yeah, try. Is but again, I mean, they're both great. Let's put it that way. So Sar is thinking hard right now. I think I like the ZP6. Okay, because the clean. They're both. They're definitely one's definitely not better. Yeah. They're both really good. Yeah, I wouldn't say one is better at all. They're both just really good. So again, so I mean, one of you start looking for grinder. I know people ask me who and which one is better, and uh, you need to start looking for which taste you are looking for. Okay, what are you looking for? If you if you want something cleaner, okay, GP6 or something like GP6 is very clean. Obviously, the flat burr is really clean as well. The flat burr is bringing out that really clean flavor. But if you want something more intricate, more different, okay, and then now we can talk about the conical, okay. 
uh, large conical, even like, you know, even niche, uh, niche is 63 millimeter conical. So uh, bring you a different, you know, tasting notes. So ideally, uh, if you are into coffee, if you are a serious coffee drinker, uh, preferably get two. Okay, one flat, one conical. It'd be a good match. And if not, go with even like two flat, right? Two flat with one bird's uh, specializing filter. The other bird is specializing uh, espresso, okay? So in that case, you're gonna have both. So uh, now you have, again, you ha now you have options, all right? Now you have options. So uh, comes to, even like timer, the Kickstarter, right? The Kickstarter, if we go to timer Kickstarter page, guess what? $300 for 64 millimeter flatbird grinder, $300. So, and the 78 millimeter, uh, they're selling for 500 on Kickstarter. I mean, that's just the one company. So you have, a, again, you have a lot of options now, folks. You have a lot of options. So uh, coming days and coming weeks, we're gonna even deep dive into those grinders as well. I'm gonna show you that in my uh, live streaming. So you get to see the, the good and the bad. Okay, and I think that's what I prefer to show you guys instead of highly edited video. And don't get me wrong, I mean, there is a place for that, okay? There's a place for the edited video. But it comes to sharing with you my thoughts on it. We don't have script. I mean, I just leave it up to Sal to what to say. I don't say, you know, I don't, you know there's no script for it, so he's going to let you know what he really thinks about it. So, okay, so hold on. DK said 330 now. Goodness, is, they raised the price on it, DK? They used to be 300 for a timer, so now it's 330. They increased by 30 bucks. All right. All righty, anything else, Sal? A any thoughts on the final thoughts on um, grinders? I mean, we, we yeah. did drink some a lot of coffee this morning. Okay. Yeah, I think someone made a good point in the comment. They said, uh, why prefer just enjoy them all? Yep. So I think if you get a grinder, you shouldn't feel any pressure to try to upgrade. As long as you know you're getting something that you like from it, you know, that's all that matters. You know, you don't need... I love coming here. It's awesome to experiment with all these grinders. I'm very lucky. But at the end of the day, like at home, I just have ZP6, you know, and I'm happy with just that one grinder. So, you know, you don't have to get a bunch and stuff like that, you know. If you like what you drink, you know, you shouldn't yep. have to spend a bunch of money if you don't want to. I mean, Asar is correct because, uh, I mean, even with the one grinder, even one brewing method, once you, you master that brewing method, you're, I mean, you are going to make some one heck of a coffee, okay? One heck of a coffee. So it's all about the technique and it's all about the water quality. The technique and water quality, uh, you can fix it right away, all right? It's just the time. Okay, get the right chemistry for water quality, but I mean, you can fix that soon. Uh, technique, same thing, experiment with a different brewing technique. You know, they got tons and tons of recipes out there, uh, you know, in the web, right? Go to YouTube. I mean, uh, Sarah using the Lance's uh, recipe. I was using the uh, Illica Lefty's recipe this morning. Uh, but I mean, they're both great, different. So play with the different recipes and before you buy, if you before you thinking about buying grinders, make sure you figure out what kind of coffee you like. Okay, what kind of coffee you like? You like the wash coffee versus you like something processed coffee. So experiment with it, find out what you like, and then start looking for grinders. Anyway, uh, it's been a lot of fun with the sale this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful man, wonderful morning, and I'll be back later today. Okay, uh, we're gonna talk something else. All right, see you next time. Oh, hold on. Don't forget, okay? I have a coupon code for the Hydrangea, all right? And there was a coupon code for the Good Brothers Coffee. I'm going to put the link down below. All right, see you guys.